Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. Let's continue the playlist in which we are writing the programs from the practical list. In this video, we are going to write the code in which we need to print the sum of the series. So there are total 4 series. Let's check out one by one. Before writing the code, first let's try to understand the logic. Here we have to take the input for the value of x and n. So we understood what's the input. Input will be x. It can be integer or it can be float 2. But n should be integer because it's the exponent. x is the base. Now try to understand the terms of the series. One thing easily we can understand the power is getting incremented by 1. But what about the first term? This is nothing but x raised to power 0. Any variable or number power 0 will be 1. So this series is nothing but x raised to power 0, x raised to power 1, x raised to power 2 and so on x raised to power n. So base is constant that is nothing but x and the power is getting changed. And how it is getting changed? It is going from 1 to the specified number n. This we will include in a loop. Let's take one variable for the loop. So the i will be running for the range 0 to n. We need to calculate up to n. So we will be adding 1 to it. Now inside the loop, let's figure out how to write this term. This is very simple. We need to calculate the power of x. And to calculate power, we have two options. Either we can use exponentiation operator or you can use power function from the math module. Whichever you like, you can go ahead with it. To keep it simple, I am using exponentiation operator. The values we are getting in the form of i. To make it even easier, you can store this term in one variable. Now we have to keep on adding this term. For addition, we will be using plus operator, but it's a binary operator. So two terms at most it will take. We got the first term, but we need to add it to something. For that we will take 0 because it will not make any difference. So we will take one variable sum and we will initialize it to 0. Now this term will get added to the sum. In the next iteration we will get the second term that we need to add to the first term. The third term will get added to the sum of the first two terms. In this way we need to proceed. So this will be our new sum. In this way, one by one the terms will get generated and it will get added to the previous sum. And at last, we will print that sum variable. So we will get the sum of the series. Hope you understood the logic. Alright, it's time to code. Here is the python file series.py. The first step is to take input for x and n. So with these two input statements, we are taking x and n. We can convert x to float or even you can keep it as an integer but n should be integer because it's the power. Now it's time to write the loop for i in range. We know that the power is getting started from 0 and it should run up to n but the n limit is exclusive so we need to write n plus 1. Let's take one variable term to store each term of the series. We need to calculate the power of x. For that we are using exponentiation operator. Now let's add the term to the previous value of sum. That we will initialize outside the loop to 0. So sum will be 0. We are done with the logic. Now it's time to print the sum of the series. Let's execute the program and check the output. I am going to enter value of x as 2 and here is the value for the exponent. I am going to enter 3. The sum of the series is 15. Pause the video and let me know whether we are getting the correct answer or not. Based on the input values, the series will be 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3. This will be ultimately 1. 2 to the power 1 means 2, 2 to the power 2 means 4 and 2 to the power 3 means 8. If we calculate it, we will get 15. It means we are getting the correct answer. 
in the series the first term is mentioned as 1 x raised to power 1 x raised to power 2 x raised to power 3 and so on x raised to power n this is one more way to write this program you can initialize one directly to sum so that you can start the loop from the power 1 so instead of starting from 1 you can write here 1 and initialize the value sum to 1 all right let's move ahead to the second series this series has exactly same terms as the first one there is only one difference in this series that is of sign look at the first term it has plus sign the second term has minus the third term has plus it means it has alternate sign changing from positive to negative negative to positive again positive to negative so we need to work on only sign for that we are going to use the concept of maths any number is having odd power will be negative and the number with the even power will be positive to calculate power we have taken one variable i which runs in the range from 0 to n plus 1 and the term was getting stored in a variable name term the term was x raised to power i in the first pass we are getting the value of i 0 in the second pass 1 in the third pass 2 similarly in the next pass we will get 3 so if we take minus 1 and let's add that i to the power of minus 1 what do you say we'll get the correct sign or not let's figure out minus 1 to the power 0 means what it will be 1 because any number power 0 will be 1 in the next pass minus 1 to the power 1 means what we will get minus 1 similarly in the next pass the value is even minus 1 power 2 it means it is a plus 1 accordingly we are getting positive negative positive and the next will be again negative because power is 3 so in this way we will get either plus 1 or minus 1 which will get multiplied to the term we will get the required sign all right let's write code for the second series here is the code of the first series only we need to change this code for the sign so i am going to write minus 1 now we need to take power of i let's enclose this in bracket this is the starting bracket and here is the ending bracket we need to multiply this alternate sign to the term to avoid confusion you can enclose this term also in one bracket the first bracket is the arrangement of the sign and this second bracket is nothing but the term let's execute and check the output of the program same values i am going to enter you can check for other values we got the answer minus 5 tell me whether it is correct or not okay let's calculate together hope you remember the terms which are generated in the previous run these were the terms only change will be in the sign the first term will be positive second will be negative third will be positive and fourth will be negative you know the evaluation of the expression which has same priority of operators we will execute from left to right plus 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 then we will get plus 4 minus 8 in the next step minus 1 plus 4 will be plus 3 minus 8 ultimately we will get minus 5 look at the output we are getting perfectly correct answer hope you understood this program all right we are done with two series it's time to proceed to the third one look at the individual terms it will be easy for you to generate the terms now here the terms are getting started with 1 it is x raised to power 1 divided by 1 in the same way we are proceeding x raised to power 2 divided by 2 and so on x raised to power n divided by n i variable will run in the range of 1 to n plus 1 let's try to figure out how we will write the term we are calculating the power of x the values we are getting in i and we need to divide it by i itself because power and the denominator is same so we are taking power by i dividing by i 
initialize the variable sum with 0 and add this term to the sum. You can use arithmetic assignment operator too. Then why should we wait? Let's write the code. The logic and the program for all the series is almost same with slight difference. In the third series, the power is getting started with 1. So we will change it from 0 to 1. Now let's figure out the term. x raised to power i is fine. The addition is we have to divide by i. While writing this type of expression of arithmetic operators, we should be careful with the precedence of the operators. Hope you know this term to keep in mind the precedence of the operators. If any time you are confused, it's a good practice to enclose in brackets. Because we know highest priority will be to the parenthesis. Let's execute the program and check the output. I am going to enter the same values so that calculation will be easy. The value of x is 2 and the value of n will be 3. We are getting some output. Now it's your turn to calculate and cross check the answer. After completing 3 series, now we are at the 4th one. Look at this series. It is similar to the 3rd one, means the previous one. The only difference is the denominator. Here we are writing the factorial of a number. I loop will work in the same way. Only we need to find out the term. In the previous example, we calculated the power of i. That will be same. But now the denominator will be changed. To keep the program simple, we will directly use the factorial function from the math module. Hope you are familiar with this function. There is already a video in which we have discussed some functions from the math module. If you want, you can go through it. For that, we need to import the module. So, we will use import statement to import the math module. And if you want to use the function from the module, we need to write the name of the module so mat dot factorial you know these values we are getting in the variable i so we will write here i the rest of the procedure is same then it's time to code all right here is the code for the series 3 now let's modify it first of all we should import math module now instead of i we need factorial of i for that we will use factorial function of the math model so math dot factorial and in bracket we will provide i so that was only the change it's done now it's time to check the output once again i am going to enter the same value so it will be easy to calculate the terms here is the answer with the hope that it is correct and you will calculate and cross check it i am leaving to you so in this way we are done with all four series programs. Hope you got the logic. In the next video there are some more programs with the help of which we will practice conditional statements as well as looping. So stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.